that's wood. I think it's plastic made to look like wood. I don't know. I can't. I think it's plastic. <laughs> I like to handle and bite things to see if they're real. Yeah, I'm going to leave that at that because that sounded a little double entendre-ish. Hi everyone, I'm Moody Boo and I am back with another perfume review because it's what I do. <laughs> anyway, um, I have loved the house of Carner Barcelona for quite some time. And I don't know that they've ever put out a perfume that I have tried that I disliked. I may not have loved all of them enough to buy a full bottle, but pretty close to everyone that I've tried. Yep, I bought a full bottle and this one is no exception. Tested it, popped for it, and I'm so happy. This is Fig Man by Carner Barcelona. He's Fig Man on campus. I'm telling you, this is so good. Fig is one of those notes that I'm kind of in and out of. Um, I never fell in love with Philopsychos. Um, by uh, Diptyque. I liked it. I owned a bottle. I went through about half of it and then moved it on down the road. There have been some figs that I adored, but none that I recall has made me go, holy shitsky, Batman. I think I need me a bottle of this. And this one did. Um, I wish they hadn't put the word man on it because I don't think that's appropriate. It is completely unisex. Absolutely. It's um, fig, fig tree, aquatic notes. There's some bergamot, Gaia, cardamom, violet, patchouli, and tonka. This fig. It's, it's fresh. It has a hint of sweetness, but not a lot. It's more moist, green, fresh fig than it is sweet, gourmandy, or even super fruity fig. This is like eating ripe figs um, that you have just plucked from a fig tree next to the ocean kind of a thing. So <clears throat> this at the beginning doesn't have a lot of sweetness. It's mostly this tart, green, fresh, moist fig smell. But once it dries down, it definitely warms up and gets sweeter and dries out just a little bit. It still stays that moist green fig note, but a lot of the woods and the tonka um, add to it and give it a lot more depth and a lot more component. Um, <clears throat> you definitely get the aquatic notes. It, it, it's like I said, like eating fresh figs, freshly plucked from a tree next to the ocean without that salty brine kind of a smell. There's just this slightly vegetative aquatic note in there. Not quite like Remin uh, Renaissance Man by Chris Collins. This one doesn't have quite that amount of depth. This one, but it still is a slightly rooty aquatic. You add that with the fig, the fig tree and the citrus. It's a fabulous opening, fabulous. And it has this cleanness to it. Not shampoo or soapy kind of a clean, but almost like you've bathed in the ocean. Again, without that salty brine kind of a note. And then once it dries down and the tonka and the woods kick in, it is magnificent. It almost feels like it has a little bit of a sweet sandalwood effect. I'm assuming it's the Gaiac and you know, some of the other notes combined that's giving me that, but it does. It reminds me a little bit of a slightly sweet, sour sandalwood mixed with the fig once it dries down. I'm telling you, I adore this. This is, 
This is by far my favorite fig. I don't even have to do a battle of the figs because I know for a fact this is my favorite, hands down. And I've tried like only maybe five other fig perfumes, fig heavy perfumes other than this one. None of them touch this one as far as I'm concerned. Um, it's exceptionally unisex, even though it says fig man on there. It is unisex, 100%. It's year round kind of a perfume. There is absolutely no reason. I mean, this works great in the summertime. I've been wearing this in hot weather and then going into a cooled air conditioned office. And yes, I've been wearing this to work, no problem. Um, and it does beautifully. It projects well in the cooler um, air flow and it projects well in the hot, dry temperatures too. I do think this does lend itself more to hot weather, but I do think you could try it in the wintertime. I'm gonna try it in the wintertime, see what it does. But I have noticed fresh, big, aquatic kind of perfumes, they really are more for summertime, in my opinion. I mean, but of course, do your best self. So if you wear those kind of perfumes in the winter, do it. Because I do if I need a, a mood lift. I'll grab one of my favorite perfumes to, that I wear to Hawaii or something, something that reminds me of Hawaii anyway. Performance is actually really good for a fruity, freshy, aquatic kind of a perfume. I easily get eight hours out of it. And it's projecting almost all of that time. The last hour to two hours, it gets a little closer, but I can still smell it if, if it's on my wrists. I can smell it if I move my arms. If it's on my neck, I can smell it when my hair brushes against it. It may not project as much um, at the end of its journey, but it's still, I can smell it. It is not a skin scent at the end of the day. So prices are really good for Carner Barcelona. I got this at Javoy, um, and I love Javoy because they, they send these incredible samples. Um, you just request them just like you do at Lucky Scent. So. Oh, it's a fabulous perfume. Bottles are great because they're stackable, so I stack all of my Carner Barcelona. <laughs> I know that's probably sacrilege or something, but I don't care, that's what I do. Um, <clears throat> so I like that, but they're just industrial, not really industrial, they're just kind of, you know, very simple bottles. And this is a, I don't know if that's wood, I think it's plastic made to look like wood. I don't know, I can't. I think it's plastic. <laughs> I like to handle and bite things to see if they're real. Yeah, I'm gonna leave that at that because that sounded a little double entendre-ish. So great stuff. Highly, highly recommend. If you love figs in perfume, oh my God, you've got to try fig lip. Rewind. Oh, I just love it. I just love it. I really was surprised by that one because I didn't expect to. Because like I said, fig, it's kind of hit and miss with me. Um, if it's too salty, if it doesn't have a some personality, some flavor in there, eh, I'd rather eat them than smell them. So, okay. Well, that's it. A quickie dicky. You know what I mean. Well, anyway, thank you so much. Don't forget to like and subscribe and ding, ding, ding the bell if you want. If you don't, it's all good. I still love you. All right. Use your own nose, everybody. Peace.